In this video, I'm going to be showing you an interesting application of the intercepting routes feature in Next.js. And we're going to be using this experience on Unsplash. If you click on an image, it shows that image in a model. The URL is updated. Here we have unsplash.com slash photos slash ID. But the interesting thing is that we are still on the current page. So if I should close this model, you see that I am still on the home page and the URL is updated back to unsplash.com. But then if I click on this and this shows this model if i refresh now it's going to open the image in its own dedicated page this is something you can achieve with intercepting routes in next years and i'm going to be using this demo i have here to show you how it works so we're going to start this demo from here i have this page which has a couple of unsplash images it opens the dedicated page for that image. So here we have the image and here we can have like more images like this. Here we can go back to all photos. So on the home page, I have these images grid components and all of these images are coming from demo images. Ideally, you'll be getting this from an API. And for the dedicated pages for each photo, that is under the slash photo slash ID route, which is here. So here I just filter from the images array based on the ID in the the URL I render the image here and then I display more images like this now what I want to do to improve the user experience is when the user clicks on this image instead of taking them here and then if they have to go back they have to click this I want them to be able to click this and see a model intersecting routes in next years works nicely with parallel routes if you don't know what parallel routes are in next years oh that's a bit hard to pronounce it allows you to basically render multiple pages in parallel like rendering more multiple pages in one page and the syntax for that is here in this app i'm going to create a folder called model and this is going to be a slot and in this slot i can add page.csx and i'm just going to paste this here this is just like a next.js page now this model is on the same level with this layout so in this layout i can receive the slot prop here which is going to be model and here i can render the model now when i come here to refresh this page you can see that i have model page at the bottom here so in parallel I am rendering this page.tsx for the root and this page.tsx for this slot. But what I'm going to do instead is instead of having a page.tsx directly under the model, I am going to have my route. Now, in this case, I want to have a route for the photo and I'm going to have my dynamic ID. And in this ID, this is where I'm going to have the page.tsx. TSX. But then the syntax for intercepting route is instead of having photo like this, I'm going to have open parenthesis, dot, close parenthesis, and photo. The reason why it's called intercepting route is that it will allow me to intercept the current route on the browser and allow me to render something instead. Now, the normal route is that when you click on this image, it would go to this photo slash ID slash this page dot TSX. This is the dedicated page for it. But with this intercepting route, what I'm going to say is instead of pointing to this page when it is clicked, I want it to point to this page. But remember again, this page under this slot is going to be a parallel route, which means this page will be added to the current page. I'm just going to paste this here. And what I have is I have this model, which is a component that allows you to basically have a model and when this model is closed we're going to have router dot back and then we also have the demo images here again we get the image based on the params and then we render the information for this image in a model but now when i click on this image instead of navigating me to this page here instead we're going to have this page which is going to be added to the current page in parallel so now if i should click on this then we have this error and i'm actually glad we have this error because while preparing the demo i faced this error and it took me a long time before i could solve it now the error in the console says something like cannot update a component 
I really don't understand what this error means. In my search for a solution, I found this question on Reddit and this person was basically facing the exact thing I was facing. And apparently the solution was to delete the .next folder. I'm not sure why that solves the problem, but if I should come here to this next folder, delete it and then run my development server again. If I should refresh this now, what I get is 404, this page cannot be found. And this has to do with the fact that I don't have a default page for my parallel route so here i have this default on the root level but i'm going to copy this default and also paste it in this modal here so that in this model i have a default in the case that next.js cannot match the state for my slot there's a whole lot of detail that goes into it i recommend checking out next.js docs to learn more about this default file but now that i have this default file we can now see the interception so when i click on this now instead of taking me to the dedicated page i am going to have my modal but this also doesn't work because i'm missing something so in my modal.csx it looks for the element with the modal ID and I currently do not have that in my layout so I can go to the layout and have this div with an ID of modal. Okay, let's go back to all photos. Now if I click on this, instead of taking me to the dedicated page for this um, item or this photo, it's instead going to render that modal. Again, coming back here, I intercepted that route to show this instead of the dedicated page. And also on the URL, you can see that it actually points to localhost 3000 slash photo slash the ID, but I'm rendering something else. If I should close this model, you can see I'm still in the same context of this page. If I should scroll down here, click on this image, we have this model, the URL changes. If I press close, I am still here and this way users of my application don't have to click a page, go somewhere else and then come back and start from the beginning. But the interesting thing is if I click on this, we have our intercepting route and this shows. But then if I should refresh the page, it's now going to point to the dedicated page that I have for this route. Instead of pointing to this one here, it's now going to point to this. So this way I can copy this link and share with others and it will take them to the dedicated page, but it doesn't change the user experience I have when I am clicking an image from the home page. One thing I did notice though, which you can keep in mind is if I come here and I scroll to the bottom and I click on this, we have the intercepted route. But if I should refresh, now we are in the dedicated page for that image, but you can see the scroll position is still at the bottom. So I still have to scroll to the top to actually see the contents from the beginning. And this is actually the same thing with Unsplash. If I should come here and I click on this image, and now we have this intercepted route. I'm not sure if it's next just you're using, but the same concept. If I should refresh, you can see that the scroll position is still at the bottom and now I have have to scroll to the top to find the beginning of the content. I'm not sure why this is the case and there are probably different solutions you can figure out for this, but it's just something to keep in mind when working with intercepted routes. I do think intercepted routing are a very interesting feature and depending on your use case, this can be very handy. For example, you might have a page where if a user clicks on login, instead of taking them to a dedicated login page, you can intercept that route and render the login page on the same page that they are on. You can do the same thing with e-commerce cards. If a user clicks on the cart button to know what is in their cart, instead of taking them to the cart page, you can keep them currently on your list of products and render the cart on the same page. And if they close that cart, they can continue scrolling and checking out your other products. This is a really interesting feature and I hope that this video shows you a good application of it.